T-Mobile has shared some exciting news about expansions to their network, including a new 5G band, mid-band N25, and 3X 5G carrier aggregation. We've got the details. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give a kind of exciting update on T-Mobile's rolling out of 5G technology. Now, since the dawn of 5G, T-Mobile has kind of made it their mission to be the leader in bringing out 5G, both coverage, speed, um, just pushing the edges of 5G technology. And they've been continuing to do that. They're, they're goal this time around is to to be the leader in 5G as opposed to they were the, the furthest behind follower when it came to 4G. And they've been investing a lot in this. They've bought a whole bunch of low band spectrum, 600 megahertz. They acquired uh, Sprint, which gave them a whole bunch of mid band spectrum. And they've been the first carrier to push to new technologies like 5G standalone mode, which is 5G running without a 4G base layer underneath it. So you can have lower latencies. And they've been pushing forward with 5G carrier aggregation, combining multiple 5G bands for more speed and more coverage. And the kind of the end of 2022 announcement that T-Mobile is making now is that they are actually ahead of schedule rolling out their 5G mid-band coverage, their, their fast 5G. They're up to 260 million people covered. So they're way ahead of the other carriers in rolling out the fastest flavors of 5G. And their extended range 5G is now up to 323 million people. So they've got pretty good nationwide coverage with the, the long range, slower 5G. So T-Mobile is making some really good progress. And two other things that they've kind of announced that they're bringing to their 5G network are also exciting. One of them is a new 5G band. This is a band N25. Uh, this is a, a band that uh, T-Mobile kind of acquired as part of acquiring Sprint. So this is more spectrum that they got from buying Sprint. Uh, this was a band that was kind of goes back to the early, early days of 2G and 3G and was kind of one of the core bands that Sprint used for their network. They had a nationwide coverage on band N25, uh, which is an extension of the um, 1900 megahertz band 2 that you know all the other carriers, T-Mobile, AT&T, and Verizon have been using. But Sprint had this dedicated sliver nationwide band 20, uh, N25 that is now been that the Sprint network has been shut down. Sprint's 3G is gone. Uh, T-Mobile has turned off their 3G network, so they're able to take their older 1900 megahertz spectrum, combine it with that Sprint spectrum, and now dedicate that exclusively to 5G and turn that on nationwide. And now, boom, T-Mobile's got another big chunk of mid-band spectrum that goes along nicely with their band N41, which they also got by acquiring Sprint. So this is another new big channel that T-Mobile has turned on nationwide for more 5G capacity, more 5G coverage. And in particular, this is a band that works really well via carrier aggregation to combine with um, T-Mobile's other 5G bands. So as they're pushing now towards having three channel carrier aggregation, so let's T-Mobile combine three different 5G channels for extra speed or extra range. Now, the way they're doing this is um, they've actually shown demonstrations of combining two different channels of band N41, because that's a really huge band with multiple channels in it, with um, band N25. And they've actually demonstrated over three gigabits per second speed over these mid-band channels. That's basically millimeter wave speed, the sort of speed that um, you know normally would be only possible over super, super short range 5G, but this is over a long, larger, more suburban range size. So pretty exciting that they're able to show that sort of speed over a longer range. And the other advantage of carrier aggregation is, well, if you aren't in a suburban area, you can combine you know, either band N41 or band N25 with their long range band N71, the long range but slow 5G band. Combine the two of those and you get the advantages of the longer range and that really helps you with your upload capacity. And then the, the um, mid band band could be your download capacity layer. So you get that boost of extra speed, you kind of get a little bit of best of both worlds. So carrier aggregation, just like it was in the 4G era, is really exciting technology in the 5G era. And well, T-Mobile is pushing ahead to be the first with, well, now three channel carrier aggregation that really is kind of putting their network to uh, its best use. Great. Can you start taking advantage of this with your T-Mobile gear? Um, 
sort of. This is the catch is this is the cutting edge of 5G and not a lot of hardware supports this. In fact, T-Mobile is only rolling it out initially supporting the, all these new features on the Samsung Galaxy S22 phone, which is Samsung's flagship and Samsung's flagship phones every year are usually where carriers test and deploy their latest technologies. Um, and then they roll it out to other devices. Uh, T-Mobile will be rolling out this um, band N25 support and the 3X carry aggregation to other devices that have the hardware necessary to support this. And that will in particular be um, devices, phones, and hotspots that have the Qualcomm X62 or X65 chip in them. Because that is really the only uh, 5G chip out on the wide market that supports 3x carrier aggregation and that can combine these different sort of frequency bands in this powerful way. So we'll expect that the iPhone 14 and other recent flagship phones and the um, latest uh, flagship hotspots that also have the X62 or X65 will be getting this support probably in the next few weeks or month or so. So exciting stuff for T-Mobile customers. They're going to get more speed, more capacity, more coverage and uh, shows off some really good things there. Now, like what about people who have um, like, you know, cellular routers or, you know, other older devices, you know, particularly most of these are based on the Qualcomm X55 modem chipset. And unfortunately, the X55, the hardware just does not have the capability to do that sort of carrier aggregation. Um, the hardware might be able to support um, the band N25, but you won't really get the full advantages of it. Um, and so we're not expecting that necessarily all of these device makers will ever push updates or get the FCC certification necessary to turn on that band. Because even though it supports the band without the carrier aggregation, you don't get a lot of those good advantages of it. But we'll keep our eye out to see what comes along. Now, this is all some pretty exciting technology news. We'll see, you know, T-Mobile continuing their rush to be ahead of the game when it comes to 5G. Um, and this is definitely an indicator that you know, if you are a T-Mobile customer, for you, it pays to be on the cutting edge of hardware to upgrade your devices to 5G to make their make sure they're the latest generation because the network will be there to have you take advantage of all this. AT&T and Verizon are a couple steps behind in deploying 5G technologies, but they are also on the same pipeline. They're working on some of the same sorts of things. They'll be able to take advantage of these next generation technologies. They're just not pushing as aggressively as uh, T-Mobile is. In fact, a Verizon uh, vice president was just recently quoted saying that uh, T-Mobile should basically enjoy their lead for now, but the giant will awaken and come 2024 um, when uh, Verizon C-Band is able to be turned on nationwide and all the restrictions on that are dropped, then, well, Verizon will be in the same sort of position to be deploying really next generation 5G over a much wider range. AT&T is kind of coming into the same position as their Andromeda Spectrum comes online in the year ahead as well. So the, the race for 5G is uh, exciting, heating up. The technology is advancing to a new level. T-Mobile continues to be the, the leading edge of it all, but um, all the carriers are uh, making some really great technology strides and it's an exciting time to be tracking all this technology. So keep following along at the Mobile Internet Resource Center and we will keep you informed of all the new cool stuff that comes down the pike. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.